What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to save $100 and make 10 wheel horsepower and five foot pounds of torque. Let's get it. All right, if you guys clicked on the video, you already know what I'm talking about, the RBC intake manifold. We got it right here. Here's the official part number if you want it. So this is the RBC intake manifold. If you guys don't already know, this is from the 06 to 2011 Civic Si. And people primarily use these for their K24 swaps or their K20, K24 Frankenstein builds. And their reason for using this is the larger plenum and shorter runners. If you're using this on a K24, make sure you get the 50 degree VTC gear or else putting this on a K stock K24 is not going to do anything. And if you put this on a K20 head with a K24 bottom, if you use the K24, the 06 and up, the 06 to 2011 K24 cams, you can get that 5 to 10 wheel horsepower and 5 to 10 foot pounds of torque increase. Again, that's the 50 degree VTC gear with the K24 cams. So what we're going to do today is show you how to make the RBC work for the K20 head. And what you want to do is you want to flip it over Honda intake manifold gasket. You want to line this up with the RBC intake manifold. Put a few bolts in it to make sure it stays. And what we're going to be getting rid of is this. We're going to be getting rid of this section right here. Take a sharpie. Put a little outline over there. And basically, we're just going to cut that off with a angle grinder. Alright guys, here's the RBC intake manifold cut. I basically took this piece off, as you guys have seen. If you buy the RBC manifold by itself without being cut, it's about $300. And the cut ones online are $400 and up. So there you go, you have saved $100, gotten yourself 10 wheel horsepower, five foot pounds of torque. Yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.